Jenna was trying to do with our study was really understand the impact telepsychiatry was having on underserved communities. We knew from the feedback from our community mental health center partners that there was a lot of interest in expanding access to telepsychiatry services, but to be able to measure what impact that had on the population was a question we needed to address and wanted to do so in a standard academic way. The study turned up two key things that I think are, are, are worth noting. The first is that for patients who had access to telepsychiatry, they were able to be seen seven days sooner than patients who didn't utilize telepsychiatry. And the second main finding was that patients who had access to telepsychiatry were seen on a monthly basis 34% more regularly than those who didn't have access to telepsychiatry. The implications of this study are that we're now putting evidence behind the concept of telepsychiatry that has been so well received. So to now be able to point to improvements in access and consistency in care, we now not only are able to talk about telepsychiatry bringing no care to some care, but in addition, really improving the quality of care that members are receiving. While this study focused primarily on patients in rural settings, I think the findings can be applied to really any underserved setting, urban or rural. The problem that we are addressing and the problem that this study looked at was what happens when you add telepsychiatry as an option to in-person psychiatric services. Genoa is in a really unique position to propagate the adoption and growth of telepsychiatry through our network of 450 pharmacies, our medication management services program, and our overall partnership with the Optum and United Healthcare organizations, we have the unique ability to really deploy these interventions to the maximal benefit of patients and make sure that reimbursement pathways and outcomes are in alignment with the growth of telepsychiatry. Thank you.